Okay, so I just wanted to make a quick video about sort of the behind the scenes of PFSense high availability and what happens when the primary server um, goes offline and all the traffic is handed off to the backup server. So we're going to use ping plotter and we're just pinging every second to uh, google.com. And uh, as you can see here, um, it's been running for a while, uh, several minutes, and just to sort of give us a baseline that like, yes, occasionally there's, you know, some sort of weird, you know, uh, increase in latency for whatever reason. Um, but, uh, you know, for the most part, everything is solid and working. And uh, this ping plotter is actually using the, uh, the two virtual box, the, the two PFSense installs that, that are running right here. Okay. So, so this computer is actually using these two uh, PFSense installs for its internet connection. All right. So what we're going to do is just shut down PFSense 1 and let the traffic get handed off to the uh, uh, PFSense 2 and just see, is it a two second delay, five second delay, 10 second delay? Does it work at all? Uh, do we lose internet connection, you know, until the uh, master comes back online? And um, I've got a video, maybe two videos uh, that describe sort of the high availability setup and how you get that all, you know, working and uh, configured. And, um, but, Real quick, we'll just take a look at PFSense 1 and 2 and their current statuses. So over here, I've got PFSense 1, uh, the CARP IPs um, or the CARP interfaces with the WAN and LAN IPs are uh, set for master and uh, on PFSense 2. Right now, those are backup. Okay. So what should happen is if PFSense 1, for whatever reason, has a problem, gets shut down, whatever, PFSense 2 should take over and become the uh, master for the two virtual IPs for the WAN and LAN. And ping plotter should really show kind of no big problem. All right. That's sort of what I'm expecting is we, we may see a slight increase in latency for, you know, a second or two, but we really shouldn't have this, you know, catastrophic failure of the internet um, because one server goes down. So we'll go ahead and do uh, the shutdown of PFSense 1. And um, I'm not going to do anything, you know, crazy, like, you know, simulate a cable being unpulled or whatever. I'm just going to shut it down. I'm going to see what would happen if the, uh, if the server just got, you know, shut down or the power went off, whatever. So 6 is halt system. And yes, we do want to halt it. And um, this is probably going to take... Oh, I don't know, a few seconds to go ahead and and get offline. Um, but we'll just keep checking the status of PFSense 2 here to see if uh, to see if uh, if it becomes master like it's supposed to. So status, carp failover, and it's master now. All right. So um, PFSense 1 is, is shut down. It's not online at all. And PFSense, took, PFSense 2 took over and is now the master. And there really wasn't, you know, anything noticeable on the client's end, which is good. That's what it's supposed to do, right? Um, so let's just make sure that PFSense 2 is master and that PFSense 1 is not even accessible anymore. Let's re refresh the page. And yeah, PFSense 1 is not, not responding. All right, so that's right. Um, so now the question is, what happens when PFSense 1 comes back online and PFSense 2 turns over the reins back to PFSense 1? Is there a problem then? So let's go ahead and boot up this. And we'll see what happens. And then after all this, I'm going to shut both of them down just to prove that this ping plotter is actually using um, these two PFSense installs as its as its gateway, as its firewall. So uh, so far, everything looks good. PFSense two still master because PFSense one still really is still finishing its boot. And 
within the next few seconds, it should be ready to go. And let's just keep an eye on pink water here. Uh, okay, so that probably is finished. Let's refresh. This should go back to backup. It did. And we'll go back here, probably have to sign in again. We'll go back to the carp failover interface. It's back to master. And really no problems here. So that's great. Um, and uh, now what we'll do is um, see first what happens if you shut down PFSense 2, which nothing should happen there. That should be no problem, right? Because it's not really changing anything. Uh, but we'll just check and make sure. We want to cover all the bases here and just make sure that there's no weird, odd things that happen. Like, oh no, when you shut down the backup, the internet goes down for some reason. And uh, again, Ping Plotter seems, seems to be happy. So we'll just put this here. And um, all right, so PFSense 2 should no longer be responding. It's not, and it's shut down. And let's go ahead and shut down PFSense 1. And the internet should go down with it. There it goes. And let's see how long it takes for the internet to die. Web interface is no longer accessible on PFSense 2, for obvious reasons. PFSense 1. And, uh-oh, we have a problem. We have lost connection to google.com. And it's like, well, gee, I wonder why. <laughs> so both the firewalls are turned off. Uh, we have completely lost internet connection. And um, so to me, that's sort of like just proving that, you know, I'm not trying to pull anything, you know, funny here. Um, so let's go ahead now and um, let's do a test where we power up PFSense 2 first. All right, so we've had some sort of weird catastrophic problem. We can only get the secondary firewall booted up. So let's see what happens. Does it uh, do what it's supposed to do? Does it take over? So this is PFSense 2 booting. So a bit out of order, but you would expect this to be able to, uh, uh, at boot, go ahead and recognize that PFSense 1 is not there and uh, assume the role. Here we go. And it looks like we're back online. Cool. Okay. So we'll put this one back down here. Power up PFSense 1. And there should be both firewalls back to being booted up. We can access the web interface. And um, we shouldn't really have a problem. Ideally, if everything goes according to plan. Let's see. PSNs2 should be available. Now the backup. That means PSNs1 must have just taken back over. It's back to master. There we go. Everyone is happy. The firewalls are happy. The network is happy. The customers are happy. The clients are happy. The servers are happy. Everyone's happy. All right. So that is basically just a demonstration of, um, you know, what sort of is happening behind the scenes. How does the network react? And, um, 
you know, what's going on. Like I said before, uh, I've got a video, maybe even two videos on how to get this set up. So if you're not really sure what is going on here with the, uh, the CARP interfaces and the virtual IPs and um, the, the master backup relationship, um, then feel free to watch those. Um, and um, that'll give you a, a bit of, you know, a, bit of uh, uh, a sense of what's going on here. So um, that's going to do it for this video. Sorry it's so short, but uh, uh, thanks for watching.